Hey, this is Hans coming at you with another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time, the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And I've got something a little different today. This one's from China. This is a rice noodle bowl from B A M A N, Baman. And I think it says hot and sour. I can't remember. But this should be interesting. I'm going to put it at that because I don't know exactly the correct and best way to prepare this, but I think I got an idea. So, first off, we open this bowl, take everything out, and put the noodles in. And there's that fill line. This one was tricky at first, and then it's just like, oh wait, there's a fill line, and it's mentioning, uh, it, it, it looks to me like you fill it to the line and cover it, which is what I'm gonna do. Where'd that line go? Okay, that looks about perfect. Now I'm going to cover it up, and I want to say it says 90 seconds. So what I'm going to do is do a minute and a half, and then we'll check it after that and see what's going on. Because these are like fresh noodle type things, so I don't think there will be an issue with that. I guess we'll find out. But honestly, I think this will this will work out well. And I think it mentioned putting some of these sachets on top, like this one. Yeah. We've got like a bunch of sachets that come with it. These are all pickled things. Then we have these. Now, people give me grief all the time about not using chopsticks. Well, 90 to 95% of the time, if you get a noodle bowl from anywhere in Asia, it's gonna come Wait for it, yes, with a fork. The only people who have ever given me grief about not using chopsticks are people that are not Asian. <laughs> so, I don't know, when I've, when I've been overseas and I've asked them, it's like, is it, what do you think about people using different utensils and da 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 like, I don't know, whatever you use to make it so you can eat, we don't care, but anyways. Yeah. Chopsticks. But I, I'm just like really no good at using them. I will, I mean if I'm at a, if I'm at a restaurant, I'll use them. But, or if I'm in Asia, I'll use them. I'll muddle through it. But, uh, you yeah. know, it's kind of for me, it's a when in Rome kind of thing, or when in Taipei kind of thing. All right, let's see what happened. It looks, Boy, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, loosen up a little bit. I feel very ru 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 rubbery. Come on. You can loosen up. Come on, loosen up, guy. basically like they don't want to let go which makes me think maybe from the get-go I'm doing this a little incorrectly but I guess we'll see you mentioned you could do it in the bowl or you could do it in the microwave and I figured doing it in the bowl might be the easiest way to go about it look at that lens too it looks like it's clean I certainly hope it is come on you know what I'm gonna do now that I've done that I'm gonna give it a couple more I'll give it another minute let it kind of do what it wants to do so yeah 
Oh, looks like the sun's trying to come out. I don't know about that. I'm not a big fan of the sun. It makes it hard for me to see. I'm, uh, the reason I wear shades all the time, I get the question every once in a while. Dude, why, why don't you lose the shades, blah, blah, blah. I had a teacher once say, yeah, great presentation, lose the shades. It's like, dude, I'm light sensitive, I'm legally blind. It's like if I was walking on crutches or had a cast on, you'd be like, hey, you know, that cast is like, it, it, it bothers me. Um, why don't you get rid of it, you know? It's, it's really unprofessional. <laughs> uh, I don't know, really doesn't bug me all that much. I think it bugs me more when people get all on their high horse about chopsticks. Which, you know. It's like, it's okay. It's okay. It is okay. That and, like, the whole thing of going to, like, a noodle house and, like, a, a ramen restaurant. And it's like, if you don't drink all your broth, you're going to totally upset the, the guy who makes the ramen. And it's like, no, you're, you're really not. I, people like to romanticize about the mystique of food in Asia. And mainly the idea is that you're going to buy it and you're going to enjoy it. and You're going to come back and get more. I mean, it's, it's, it's a business. They're not trying to do things to keep you out of there. They want you to come in and eat their food. All right, I think we're gonna call this good. Now we're gonna add in this one. That's awful thick. And I hope this isn't something you're supposed to drain. Hmm, that smells yummy. The lid definitely doesn't have a drain spout on it. And the picture of the noodles show them with broth. God, these noodles though, come on. Sometimes they get really like pinched together and they don't want to let go, but I think it'll be okay. Now, my guess is this is going to be something pickled. So here's where we're at right now. Pickled something. Not sure what we got right here. It almost smells like ginger. It smells good. And then we got... Another maybe pickled. I wish I had a better answer. I hate telling people, whoa, what's that topping? Oh, it's pickled. Pickled something. I like to have a little bit better of an explanation, but you know, if I can't, I can't. But if you're watching this and you know exactly what each sachet is, please comment. It will. Help me understand better and will help others understand as well. That would make you a pretty winner and a beautiful champion. So, come on. This is getting in my way. Mmm. Ooh. This is very tangy. Wow. I think we might have a big, big winner here. And more pickle. <laughs> Look at that. That's nice. All right. Now we got the pickle, the this, the that, the other thing. I think some of these ingredients were supposed to be steeped. I'm gonna say though, that's really delightful. 
It's spicy. It's strangely meaty because there's no meat in it. I, that I'm pretty darn sure of. I think it's the radish. I think there's some pickled radish in there that's a little bumpy. I guess you could call it bumpy. Um, and I have more pork. That's going on top there. We're gonna do a little rotato like that. And I gotta hurry because I gotta get my kid fed. Crushed red pepper. And some time for you with Rotato. And yeah, I'm out of here. So uh, happy Lunar New Year and all that to you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.